Hello and welcome to another review with me, John. Today we will be reviewing this. This is uh, a frozen pizza, but this is a collaboration between Deep Cuts and, and Lil Yachty, the uh, what he's referred to as a mumble rapper. And um, I know him from the song Cold in Minnesota. That's about it. Um, apparently, he had a pop up pizza place at some point and now he's selling these frozen pizzas they come in four varieties this will be the third one I've tried myself I have tried the pepperoni bacon one and the vegetable supreme and this one is actually uh, buffalo style chicken uh, pizza and as you see here it says hot cheddar cheese seasoned crust and in the ingredients it actually calls it a garlic butter flaming hot parmesan rimmed crust um, and the other ones say like cheeto uh, style um, it's interesting that they can actually use the words cheeto style or flaming hot in here um, I thought those words might be trademarked but maybe I'm wrong uh, these this is actually made by a corporation called Richelieu Foods Incorporated. Um, so Lil Yachty does not own uh, the pizza place. This is not like a um, it's not a black owned business. Um, so Lil Yachty got paid up front. He got paid a licensing fee, basically to put his name on here. And probably either was paid a, a lump sum for it or is paid by how much is sold but um, he doesn't own it um, a, a, a major corporation owns this and put it out under one of their smaller brand names but it's owned by like a large corporation anyway on the back it says here seasoned crust chicken buffalo ranch um, what will I, I'll say this thing about uh, my experience so far with the little Liatti's, uh frozen pizzas you shouldn't just follow this instructions right here especially the part where it says um, remove packaging and place pizza directly on center oven rack so I did that with my first two um, and that's how I usually cook all my frozen pizzas I take it in the package and I just place it right in the oven right on the wire rack and I never have problems it always cooks perfectly I can I usually use the cardboard box to slide it under and bring it out because I don't have a pizza stone or a pizza slab or a pizza circular um, oven dish for it. I just put it directly in there because that allows the heat to get under and the air to get under and crisp that up really nicely. Um, but the first time I made this, uh, it was the first one was the pepperoni bacon one, and I got a, I opened the oven mm -hmm. once the uh, timer dinged and. My pizza resembled a wavy lace potato chip. It dipped between every grate of my oven. Some cheese and sauce had fallen off the end because as you can see the end was like this way and everything fell off. I have burnt cheese and sauce inside of my oven that I had to clean out. Um, I thought maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I put it in before my oven was properly preheated. So the second time when I made the Supreme Vegetable one, I did it, I made sure I paid close attention. I made sure I heated it to 400 degrees. I made sure the preheat went through its full cycle. I even took a, uh, uh, one of those laser thermometers to check the inside of my oven. It was reading 400 in all the, in most of all places. Um, Put the pizza directly on the oven rack as it says in the instructions same thing 
even like I even like made sure I cooked it the entire time. But it's not like if you cook it longer, it's going to come up from the grates. The the pizza both times came out like a wavy lace chip. At least the second time I at least put like a pan under it so that if it did the same thing, I would catch that stuff and not have to clean my oven as hard as I did last time. Um, but it still came out wavy because the pizza would dip during the the, the grates of the oven. So for this time, I tried. I did two things. It says to preheat at 400. I preheated my oven to 425, and it says 21 to 23 minutes. I put mine at 25 minutes. I also put my pizza on a pan. I don't have any pizza pans, so I just used the biggest rectangular pan I had. Um, another interesting thing about these is they're not like perfect circles. They're more oblong or oval shaped, which I don't mind because uh, that just tells me like it's, well, it doesn't tell me exactly, but it makes me believe that it's more of a hand stretch dough perhaps and not like a machine that just cranks out perfect circles over and over again. Um, but I think it came out rather nicely. Here's what my two slices look like. Nothing looks burnt on it. The back side has just a bit of color to it. It holds from end to end rather nicely. And last times I cooked these pizzas, they didn't do any of those things. The bottoms were kind of pale looking. The pizza would be drooping straight down. If I held it from here, it would just go from here straight down. Um, so, I think you need to update your instructions first and foremost on your pizza uh, box. Let's go ahead and try this out. As I said, it has a flaming hot, flaming hot, maybe it's a G, maybe it's flaming, but they said flaming. Uh, so that's how they get away with it. It was supposed to be a, a flaming hot uh, coating on the crust there. Let's try the regular pizza part first. This is the buffalo chicken. I think these might be like onions. Yeah, those are like fried onion bits. And they have the buffalo chicken on there. And I assume the sauce is uh, the buffalo ranch sauce, which uh, I actually wanted to read one thing. I'm going to read this uh, paragraph right here. Rising Crest Buffalo Style Chicken Pizza. It's Lil Yachty's Pizza His Way. <clears throat> A rising crust that's brushed with buttery garlic oil and dusted with spicy cheese puff seasoning and spices. The cheese puff is the, where you get the Cheetos here from. We layer in Yachty's own buffalo ranch sauce and cover it all in melted mozzarella cheese. So when I read that, I said, oh, maybe Lil Yachty also sells his own buffalo ranch sauce. So I googled it and I couldn't find anywhere that Lil Yachty has a branded um, buffalo ranch sauce um, maybe his own means like his favorite not necessarily one he made I don't know it's kind of kind of it's a it infers a little bit more than I think it actually means you'll go crazy for the spicy chopped buffalo chicken breast and crispy french fried onions it's so good I'm oh, sorry it's so hot and so good, you can't stop after one slice. Well, that's why I got two. Now let's try this out. The onions, they just taste like the French's fried onions. Here we go.
Okay. Before I bite into just the crust here, let me give you my impression of what I just tasted. The fried onions are great. If you like fried onions, like these ones, like you got on top of a, um, a green bean casserole, exactly what they taste like, they're tasty. The buffalo, the chopped buffalo chicken on here, there's something slightly off about it. The buffalo seasoning is fine. But it just tastes like maybe the chicken they used on here is just slightly past its time. But not like by a lot. It just tastes like slightly off. Hmm. And let's try the uh, the crust part. Let's see how that garlic flaming hot seasoning tastes on the crust. It's not really noticeably different from just a plain crust. And you think if one of your selling points is that the crust has this cheesy and cheddary, flaming hot seasoning on it, like looking there, like you can kind of see it just being a little orange, different than like a regular crust, but. It doesn't add any flavor. Maybe Cheeto dust just doesn't transfer well over to a pizza crust. Anyway, I could stop right there. I don't need a second slice because another part of their instructions is it's off. I can't stop after one slice. I won't, but I can. Because I paid for the pizza and it's edible, so I don't need it. Um, the buffalo sauce is good. It's not very spicy, but it's noticeably buffalo. I don't really get much ranch out of this. Um, I think actually to finish this up, I'm going to give myself a little bit of ranch on my plate to kind of dip it in to increase that. Um, like I've said a few times, the fried onion pieces on here, I like. That's a, I've never seen it on pizza before, but I think that works well. Um, like I said, the buffalo sauce tastes fine. The chicken is a little off itself. Uh, could use a lot more cheese on this pizza. Um, it doesn't really look like there's a ton on here and there's not really a cheesy flavor. And uh, so far, three out of three of these pizzas, the thing I like the least about them is the crust. It's the same crust all the way around. And again, this is my opinion. You may like the style of crust. When I cooked it by the instructions, it came out really like doughy and floppy um, and now tasting it this way I think the, the crust probably actually has a better flavor and chew when it's like that um, but I just don't like a floppy doughy pizza so either you have a pizza with more integrity that you can hold like this and the chew uh, is a little more since it's a little denser dough that's cooked more, it kind of just gets uh, harder, but like in a not so pleasant way. Whereas if you cook it with the instructions, 
you get more of a, a, the flavor I think that's going for, but the floppiness is just, it just kind of feels like it's undercooked. Um, so, I don't like to like yuck anyone's yums, and I, I'm not trying to disparage Lil Yachty personally, uh, but I think there's work to be done when it comes to the pizza. Uh, it's not as bad as the Chuck E. Cheese licensed frozen pizzas. Um, that's probably still the worst licensed uh, pizza that I've tried on this channel. Uh, the Stranger Things one's probably still my favorite. The One Bite, probably better than this one. Um, but that, there you go, Lil Yachty's Pizza. There's work to be done, I'll say. Um, and I'll also preface it by saying, you may have different tastes than me and you might like it. This isn't something that's so bad that I would be like, no, don't go out and try it at all. It's just, mm, there's so many frozen pizzas out there. To me, this is near the end when it comes to what I enjoy personally. Uh, that's all I have to say about that. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I've still got the hot honey one in the freezer. Um, I might mention that on a, on a review coming up, but I'm not going to do a video about that. I just wanted to make sure I had at least one of these. That I showed you on a review. Um, other than that, I'll see you in the next video. So long. Goodbye.